Before we increase airway resistance and look at the resultant changes in the simulator, let's take a moment to remind ourselves of normal baseline conditions. Here's the normal capnogram and the airway pressure waveform. We can see that the peak airway pressure is approximately 12 centimeters of water. And here's the normal flow waveform. The inspiratory portion is below the horizontal black line and the expiratory portion is above the horizontal black line. We should also take a moment to look at the pressure volume loop and the flow volume loop. Now let's increase airway resistance by substituting a size 6 millimeter tracheal tube for the 8 millimeter tracheal tube. The capnogram won't show much of a change because of the rather small change in airway resistance. However, we can see on the airway pressure tracing that there is a small increase in peak airway pressure. The flow waveform reveals something interesting as well. Notice the area above the black line, which is the expiratory portion. There is a decrease in peak expiratory flow because flow is reduced, that is, passive exhalation across the increased airway resistance results in a decrease in expiratory flow. We see the same phenomenon represented in the flow volume loop. Here, at the peak expiratory flow position, the loop is a little bit lower, that is, the peak expiratory flow is lower. The most interesting tracing is the pressure volume loop. Here we can see that the inspiratory portion of the loop has the same slope, but the loop is wider and the inspiratory portion is shifted to the right. That means that the pressure required to generate the same tidal volume has increased. The slope of the inspiratory portion hasn't changed because the slope reflects, of course, the compliance of the lung, which hasn't changed. The position of the inspiratory portion, not the slope, represents airway resistance. So a characteristic finding with a change in airway resistance is a change in the morphology of the pressure volume loop. If we increase airway resistance further, the change in the pressure volume loop will become even more pronounced. It develops what I call an anvil shape as airway resistance increases further.